folks, that is a little snippet of the holiday show that Louise Mandrell is going to start right across the street yes. at Gaylord Opryland Resort on November 21st. Joy to the world. Louise joins us along with Erlene Mandrell. Man, you, both of you are just amazing. Over all the years we've known you, you don't miss a lick with the energy. After every, no kidding, mm -hmm. even for a holiday show that you would think would be kind of relaxing, you're working your heart out. Well, actually, when I was invited to do the Gaylord Opryland show, I, the first thing I thought of is they want a 50-minute show. Okay, in show business talk, that means an hour, you know. <laughs> but I called Barbara and I said, I'm in trouble. I can't just do an hour. I mean, there, what am I going to do? I can't shove everything into an hour. She said, yes, you will. It'll be a much better show. You won't do all that stuff that just filler. <laughs> okay. I know, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't do filler stuff. <laughs> and so Barbara ended up helping me write the show. And, no kidding. And I, I had so much fun doing it. Her son, Matt, is the master of ceremonies. And his wife, Christy Sutherland, uh, Southern Gospel Re recording artist who is a writer is in the show and I'm so proud it's, it's an amazing show you start over here next Christmas mm -hmm. see with Erlene go. Right. go across the street and, and you do see it. Louise and and the rest of the family and well the thing is you you were telling us during the break that it goes through Christmas Day so you actually yes. work on Christmas Day and you miss Barbara's birthday party I guess huh? well oh, that's right <laughs> oh well, trust me <laughs> <laughs> She makes sure even her birthday gifts are wrapped in separate paper, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but we Whoa. always celebrate Christmas and birthday early. Yes. Oh, you do? We do. Yes, I got we you. Do. Well, and people may wonder, do you mind actually doing a show on Christmas Day? No, no, uh, because if my family wants to be with me, they can come, be fed, I don't have to cook, I don't have to clean up, Perfect. and I make money. <laughs> I love it. Listen, uh, the crowds were extraordinary last year, so congratulations Thank on that. You. I know it's Thank a full you. dinner show and everything else, just like, what, just like here. Just like you're doing here. Mm -hmm. And i, I, I got to tell you, folks, uh, prior to the start of the show, we were talking about the fact, you, you mentioned Barbara being a big supporter, as is Erlene, and an intricate part in Barbara's induction into the Hall oh. of Fame. That was such an amazing, amazing event. Yeah. And first of all, the announcement for the Hall of Fame happened live, which Perfect. meant the world to all of us. Sure. And uh, the night of invited me to sing one of her songs. And oh my goodness, I was nervous. I don't think I've ever been more nervous than having to sing a Barbara Mandrell song. But you were really, really wonderful. You were. She's not watching. Go ahead. <laughs> what song did you sing? I think you sang it better. <laughs> what did you sing for the... You don't remember, do you? What'd you sing? Uh huh. I, that was the she cracker. Sleeping no. single. Sleeping single. Yeah. Sleeping single. Sleeping single okay. on a double bed. I've forgotten, so. <laughs> it's a game show now. No, that's how <laughs> nervous she was. She couldn't remember. I'm telling you, it, it really was the scariest moment, I think, of my career. Oh. What's it like for the two of you? To see each other being the star of, everybody knows that you starred together for so many years with Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell sisters, but to watch each other having developed your own talents, is that really a thrill? I think Louise is like Barbara, the two most amazing production, putting huge shows together and being amazing. I love going to her show and taking all my friends and stuff like that. With what I'm doing, I'm basically hosting, I'm singing and playing mm -hmm. some, but Louise show, I mean, I'm, I'm getting in, I'm going to do, a, um, working on, working on a, getting a movie that I'm going to do, work more towards acting and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but Louise was like, no, come sing on my show, she'd involve me, I'd do her Christmas shows and tour with her, and she's always saying, no, you need to sing, you need to play more, and oh, it was so much fun, but she's been there for me. Well, I know you're pursu pursuing the acting and all, and you have just signed with one of the labels to come along in town in a long time, Stroud of Various Records, headed mm -hmm. by James Stroud, the legendary producer, and you already have your project finished. Yes, uh, it's called uh, Plain Favorites, and I, I'm so excited. It was a, a lot of the songs that we grew up with, uh, a lot of them happened and were hits before our time, but still songs that we all are familiar with and love, and so I picked my favorites through the ages and mm -hmm. had a lot of fun doing it. I, there was a moment, I guess there, you always have s something really special happen on every project, but for me, it was Bill Anderson stopped by because I was singing one of the songs he had written, and I'm a fan, mm -hmm. so I, I, Connie had recorded the song and made it a hit. So there I am singing, and he picked me up. He, sa he was so happy with the song, he just picked <laughs> me up. And I thought, wow, Bill Anderson just picked me up, physically picked <laughs> me up. And it was a lot of fun, and I hope everyone enjoys it as much as I truly had so much fun. I look fun. forward to it. Uh, and the, the name of it was? 
What the, the name? song once a day? It wasn't once because a day? Because that is my favorite. <laughs> I am not telling anything oh. else. You can look it up. No. <laughs> because I don't know all this, everything that's going on with her. I can find I out here. I don't know. asking questions. I don't even know what I'm allowed to tell and not tell about the album. Oh. I don't even know when it's supposed to, well, I album project. They call it CDs, album <laughs> projects. I don't even know when it's released. Oh. They haven't announced I signed with the label. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not supposed to tell, and all of a sudden I'm getting really it's nervous. It's turning into the Ralph Emery show. <laughs> It's okay. The two of you need to call each other more often and keep up to date, okay? You know what we'll do? What we'll do is we'll put a bunch of bleeps in here. So, you know, as we're telling things to Just go on uh, the Luis Mandrell... Um, dot something. Dot, it's a dot com. Don't thank you. And, and I'll have information really soon about all of okay. the stuff I'm allowed to tell. Okay, listen, we are all laughing. This is hysterical.